Hi, this is John from Insurance Splash, and I'm going to walk you through our insurance website backend demo. I want to start by saying that you won't find an insurance website that's easier to edit yourself than ours, and I'll prove it to you in just a few moments. With that being said, I want to make it clear that although you can make your own changes, you don't need to because we'll build your site and we'll make the changes for you for free. That's just part of our service. I want to take a second to show you our update request form where clients can submit a change to us and we'll take care of it, usually within a business day. We don't charge extra for doing updates unless it's a really intense activity that's going to take one of our guys a long time to finish. Uh, we like doing changes for clients because we just want your website to look as good as possible. All right, with that out of the way, let's run through the back end. I'm going to use our, our prime template for the demo today. And to log in, I'll click the agent login link at the bottom and type in my information. And once you're in, you'll see some traffic stats um, right away. And then there's also a tab over here that you can click on to see form submissions. When people fill out any form on your website, you'll get an email right away. And the info will get stored here in the back end in case you lose it. Up here in the corner is our support email address with a link to that support site that I just showed you a few moments ago. That site also has tutorials, but as you'll see real soon here, I hope, uh, you're probably not going to need them. So let's get with editing the site. And to do that, we click on the Edit Site button. The first thing you should notice back here is that the editing area looks just like your regular website. And that's not a small deal. Most website backends don't look at all like the actual site. With our system, you literally surf your website and whatever you want to change, you just click on it and change it. So if I want to change this button, I click on it and all my options for it will pop up. If I want to change a picture, I can go to it, click on it, and then from there, I can upload another picture right from my computer. Then if I need to resize it, I can click on it and drag and make it fit to be the right size. Now, if you're watching this and editing your own website is something that's important to you, having a backend like this is a really important feature to look for. Most website editors aren't like this at all. For example, the most common one people use is WordPress, and I'll show you because we actually use WordPress on our blog. When you log into WordPress, this is, this is our blog, so it, it looks like this. And I know what all this stuff is because I'm the one that built it. But how comfortable would you feel playing around back here? And let me show you some more. So if I show you one of our posts, uh, I can click on posts. This is a list of all the blog posts that we have on this site. Let me click on this one here. And let me switch this to visual. So this is the back end for a specific page on the site. And this is what the actual page looks like. So I'll go back and forth. And of course, there's a resemblance. but any of the same. And if I want to go change a different page, I would have to go back to posts. I would have to scroll, find the one that I wanted to do, and click on it. Now, don't get me wrong. I like WordPress for our blog, and I've probably built a 100 of my own websites on WordPress. And we could use it for clients if we wanted. The problem is that I can't honestly hand a WordPress website to an insurance agent and have a reasonable expectation that they're going to be able to do anything other than break it. So if somebody tells you that WordPress is easy to figure out, uh, the truth is they, they just don't really get it. And believe me, I know this because I used to tell people that a long time ago. It ain't true. <laughs> so, uh, But back to the easy stuff. Let's take a look at our system again. So let's say I want to change something on a different page. All I got to do is use the menu to navigate over to that page and then make the change that I want. I don't even have to hit the save button because all my changes get saved as soon as I make them. So as long as I'm done and I've finished all my changes, I just have to click the publish button up here in the top and boom, it's done. The live website is updated. Now so far I've shown you how to edit what's already there, but what if you want to add something new? Well, over here on the left side, you've got a whole bunch of elements that you can use on the page. The way these work is you drag them onto the page wherever you want them to go. So let's say I wanted to add a picture right here. I'd grab the image element, drag it over here, and a blue line is going to show up that'll show me where I'm putting this relative to the other parts on the page. So I can put it, you know, 
in the middle here. I can do whatever. Uh, just to keep it simple, I'm going to put it right here. Now I click and I upload the picture I want to use and boom, it's there. Now, there's a lot of different elements to use over here on the left, and I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see the main ones here at the top are text, titles, images, image gallery, slideshow, contact form, newsletter button, plain old button. And this one here I will show you, though. It is the embed code box. And you can drag this anywhere you want to embed your own custom code on your website. So you could use this to embed a YouTube video, uh, if you have an online rating system that gives live quotes and they give you embed code, you can use that. Uh, a lot of times carriers will give uh, our clients like uh, a banner like Progressive or United Healthcare, where if people click on it and they buy, you'll get credit for the, the coverage. And the way those work is they just give you a little bit of code and you paste it right in here. We'll do it for you, but you can do it yourself too. Um, the possibilities with this embedding code in your website make things really pretty extensive. All right, let's head on back to the home page. And I want to show you uh, the pages section uh, where we can handle the menu structure and the SEO and some other details about the pages. So if I go up to the top here and I click on pages in the menu, you're going to see the left side of the screen change over to the page view. And this shows the hierarchy of all the different pages uh, of the website and how they're laid out in the menu. So if I look under the quote section there, we've got auto, and then under that is auto, ATV, classic car. And if I look under the menu on the live side, it's you know the same same setup. And I can over here in the menu, I can I can click and I can drag these to rearrange the menu if I want. If I wanted to make a new page, I could also click this plup plus sign up at the top here. Uh, you can have unlimited pages with our websites, but I'm not going to actually make a new page right now. Uh, I actually find it's easier to make a new page um, by making a copy of an existing page, which I'll, I'll show you that in a few seconds. Um, now, if I click on any of these pages, I get a lot more options and details about that page. So up here at the top, you can see this is the page name, and that's what shows in the menu. Uh, I could click this box if I wanted the page to exist, but not actually appear in the menu. I can change the page style, and below that we've got visibility, which allows you to make hidden pages uh, just for your staff members. And down below that we've got SEO options, and I'll click on that and show you how you can change the page title, uh, which is what shows at the top of your browser in the tab part. It's also the blue link in the Google search results for that page. Um, you can change the URL of the page, uh, which is what people type in to, to get to that specific page. Uh, the page description is a sentence or two about the page, and it shows up as the gray text in the Google search results. Uh, there's a box for meta keywords, but I wouldn't waste your time. Search engines have ignored that stuff for at least the past decade. Uh, we can also ha add hidden code to the header or footer of any page. And at the bottom, we can choose to hide this page from search engines. Now, obviously, you don't want to hide your home page uh, from search engines, but that's a good feature for like a thank you page or something maybe that you want to send your clients to, but you don't want anybody to be able to find and, and get to on their own. So last thing I'll show you here is how to copy a page. And this is my preferred method anytime I need to make a new page because I think it's easier than uh, starting a, a new one from scratch. Uh, you just go to the page that you want to copy and you hit the copy button and the system will make a duplicate of this page and squeeze it in all the way down at the bottom of the menu here. So from there you can drag it up to where you want it. And if you're going to make a lot of changes to a page, especially your home page, I strongly recommend making a copy uh, to do the work on, and then you can swap it out and delete the old one uh, when the new version is ready. Uh, so what else is there? Well, there's a lot. I mean, there, there, we've really only scratched the surface of what's possible back here, but I'm hoping that you get the idea that you've got a tremendous amount of control over the website, and you're not going to need a degree in computer science just to make a simple change. Um, so, and I'd like to reiterate what I said at the beginning, which is that this backend system is here for your convenience, but so are we. So if it's easier for you to make changes back here, then by all means, go nuts. But if you'd rather send those changes over to us and let us take care of it, that's cool too. 
you know, one thing I've learned in business is that you should definitely delegate everything you possibly can so that you can focus your time, your effort, your energy on the things that you're actually best at. And we're happy to help so that you don't have to waste time on your website. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, here is some information about where you can uh, relay those questions. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in finding the right website for your agency. It is a really important decision nowadays and there's a handful of good options out there. But if you go with us, you will not regret it. I hope to talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.